Guys, look how much the weather changed. I just came back from my lunch meeting and it was such a beautiful sunny day. Well, not, well it was a nice day when we left it's and bag, yeah. my bag is wet. And this is the first time I've worn it in a while. We're on our way to the house viewing. How far is it from here? This is a good indication because we're in- 15 minutes during- A like, 15 minute drive during from like Harrods traffic. during traffic. I think this might be the one. When I'm looking for flats to potentially rent. Oh, because I think, oh, did I talk about this? Not yet, maybe on Instagram. I'm not looking to buy right now, guys. I know that might be disappointing because everyone loves to tell me to buy a house using my money, but <laughs> I'd like to put my money elsewhere. Um, buying a house isn't always the ultimate goal for everyone. And to be honest, it used to be a goal of mine, but I think that was a more of a society thing. Like you feel like you've accomplished something once you bought a house. And I definitely feel like that is the case for most people. And like, obviously buying a house is a big accomplishment, especially in this day and age and this economy. Um, but right now for me personally, and kind of our goals, what we want to do, how we want to travel and how we want to run our business, buying a house isn't on top of our radar right now. Like we just want to rent because we want to move around, we want to experience living in different places. We don't want to commit to just one place and we don't want to put a large sum of money into a property. And yeah. um, we'd rather put our money elsewhere. We have financial advisors, don't worry guys, we are being smart with our money. We're not just like coming up with these ideas. I mean, we, we are, but like also we have financial advisors who have advised us as well. Um, so yeah, we're investing our money. So for everyone commenting for me to stop buying bags and spending money silly don't worry guys well bags um, are actually a really good investment they're a really good investment yeah, actually um, as and bags, yeah. um but <laughs> aside from that i am investing my money in other things other than bags i'm not in a rush to find somewhere it's just something that we've been thinking about and talking about um doing so where we want to kind of gauge the market right now see if there's any properties that we like just so we have an idea so when we are ready to move out into our own flat we know what we're looking for and we know yeah. what areas No, it's really good. Yeah, it's got nice big windows. I've actually just come home, but I thought I would show you that. I'll put a picture because I feel like the picture will show it better. Um, this is old naked fashion. This is from Jaded London. It's a medium, but it's too big, so I have to keep tying it up. So if you do get this, I'd recommend sizing down. Um, but yeah, I got so many questions on this, so many compliments. It is a really nice pair of cargo pants. Started it with my Hermes Shipreys. And this was my look today, although it started raining, so sandals was not a good idea, but the rest of the outfit was kind of good for this weather. Come downstairs, me and Tru are gonna work in the kitchen actually. And I'll talk you through kind of how we prep and plan and how we got on with our work. It's about six o'clock, but because we spent most of the day out and not doing work, we're doing work now. So my hair is up. I just sprayed some of the, um, the must mist from Mantle on my face to freshen up my makeup because I feel like it's looking a bit crusty. Um, and I'm just giving myself a freshen up. I also freshened True up and he was a little bit stressed. So I rubbed some of the Calm Balm onto his temples and he loved that. So guys, I thought I would just let you know, because I feel like we always do BTS of work, but we don't show the admin side of things really. Yeah. But right now what we're doing is, um, we have an ad we're filming tomorrow, um, like a skincare ad. So we're kind of planning out what the idea is. It's a reel. Um, so we're planning out kind of what content we want to get. We booked a hotel, because I love booking hotels to do skincare stuff. Hotels are so expensive right now. It was yeah. very last minute though, so we paid a lot. Okay guys, so recently I've been having this rice and this has been my rice replacement. So it's cauliflower rice and it's actually so good. Like I can't tell the difference. When I have it with the salmon that the true we make, it literally tastes the same. Like I wouldn't know the difference between that and normal rice. 
and I've been really enjoying it and I also love cauliflower so that helps. So this is the salmon. I think you vlogged this before, True. Probably. I make this all the time. I literally, I never get bored of this. Every time True says, what do you want for lunch? I always say tomato salmon. Um, he does it like a Vietnamese style. It's so good. So having this cauliflower rice salmon and the bok choy. I feel like this is the old, <laughs> old days of vlogging. You know, it's been a long time since we last vlogged. Like um, just sitting down. Yeah. We all are, our recent vlogs have been travel vlogs. We've been traveling a lot. Mmm. just drinking some coffee that true made for me and i think he vlogged it i asked him to vlog it because i thought that would be cute content um nespresso sent me some iced coffee like a kit and i love an iced coffee in summer so this is amazing yeah so we just came back from the gym obviously i've showered um and i thought i would talk you through a little bit of my skincare because i feel like i stopped doing that and i remember when i started my channel i used to always share kind of what i was loving like my favorite creams or my favorite shampoos and when i'm watching other people's vlogs that's what i really enjoy so i'm going to definitely introduce that and kind of share things that i'm loving and i'm going to start this off by sharing one of my favorite brands of the moment i've been using this brand for just over a month now and i'm obsessed so you guys might already know, if you follow me on Instagram, I shared a reel and I spoke about this on my Instagram stories. Um, but the brand is Mantle. It's a cult Scandinavian female founded skincare and body care brand. And they basically use really great um, active botanical ingredients in all of their products, um, which makes it really suitable for all skin types because I feel like my skin type changes throughout the seasons. And it's kind of nice to have products that you know you can use whatever the weather. So I thought before I do my skincare, I'd just show you how I've been using the products. And I start off with this product, which, oh my God, guys, this is my favorite product and trues. This is called the Mantle the Must Mist. It's a multifunctional product and a lot of their products are multifunctional, which I absolutely love. I like to use it as a toner. So before I put on my serums and face creams, I use it after I put on my cream and I also use it throughout the day to top up my makeup. Um, not top up my makeup, to set my makeup and kind of hydrate and refresh if it looks a bit crusty throughout the day. I love this product. So it has a built in blue light protection, which is something that I never thought about. And obviously we're always on our phones, on our laptops and you actually need protection from blue light. And it's called the Must Mist and it honestly is a must for me. And then face cream, which another essential everyone should moisturize by the way even if you have oily skin because true never used to moisturize his face because he said that he had oily skin and he didn't have really great skin before he met me then i came into his life and changed his life and gave him a whole new skincare routine that's why he has great skin guys and you guys always comment about his skin that's thanks to me um because now he moisturizes so yeah i like to apply a generous amount on my face again i love the smell of all of their products so yeah i haven't even spoken about what this cream is this is the chill cream this has cbd niacinamide bacotrol ceramides rosemary and you just apply it on your face and chill that's what it literally says apply on your face and chill it feels really hydrating on your face and like really nourishing always bring it down to your neck and i like to give myself a little massage like this having a skincare ritual and like taking time to do your skincare is so important guys because I normally, I'm always in a rush and I don't actually take time to, you know, enjoy my skincare. You kind of just rush and do it. But it makes such a difference to start off your day by just, you know, taking time out, pausing to be present. I love how it feels immediately after applying. Like I feel like my skin has, it's brought back that elasticity because it kind of feels bouncy. And then... I'm just gonna put some lip balm on. Well, it's actually not a lip balm. This is called the Calm Balm, but it's a multifunctional, multi-purpose product. I like to use it on my lips and also anywhere else that's dry. It has CBD, all of the products have CBD, shea butter, vitamin E, and bisabolol. 
bicep, bicep or I'm probably, probably not pronouncing that right. Also, what I did the other day with True, because he was feeling a little bit stressed out because he had a lot of work to do. The camera cut out, so sorry guys if the lighting's changed or anything's changed. Um, but what I was saying was, True was feeling a little bit stressed and I got the calm bomb and I just get a little bit out like that and then rub it between my fingers and massage it onto the temples. I'm actually going to get True here to show you as an example. True. True. I'm <laughs> come. How are you feeling today? Stressed. Stressed. <laughs> so this is what I did for him the other day and he loved it. So I'm going to show you guys just on the temples like this. This makes me forget that I have work. <laughs> <laughs> it's so nice, isn't it? Do you like the smell of it? Can you smell it? Mm, citrusy. But yeah, that's what I do. So I like to apply it on here. You can leave now. Thank you. Oh. Is that it? No, yeah, that's why. <laughs> it's just such a nice and relaxing thing to do just before you go to bed or throughout the day if you're feeling stressed. So um, I'm going to link all of the products that I spoke about down below in the description box. So if you want to check them out, check them out. If you do have any questions about anything, drop them in the comments down below. I will try and answer them all. So I'm going to quickly just do my makeup, get ready, get dressed, and we're going to head out and bring you guys along. Hi hey guys, um, we're in the car on the way to Selfridges and we just bumped into a subscriber's husband. So we want to shout out to Rosie because he was so we were literally walking out and he said, um, excuse me, my wife watches you. And he watches us too because he loves the food element. So yep. hi to him. We didn't actually catch his name because um, we were all like in such a rush yeah and he was facetiming his wife but i was like i bet this is the one time that she won't answer and then it's she like didn't. she didn't answer so hi rosie thanks for watching us that was it honestly makes our day when we meet people because i always say this but it's like we obviously like know how many people watch us and we see how many subscribers we have but it makes it so real when we actually bump into people like i just absolutely love meeting I love meeting people who watch us, so yeah, that really made our day. Do you know what I'm on the hunt for? A bag with no logos. Like, I'm a little bit tired of logo handbags. And I feel like all my bags, because I have a lot of Chanel bags, and they all just have logos. And I just really want an understated bag that has no logo on it. Um, just a really, like, and also, like, prefer preferably no hardware. So kind of just a, a leather bag that I could wear with silver or gold accessories. Um, so I'm really considering the Jodie, but in the bigger size. Okay, so this is one of the bags that is on my radar right now, the JW Anderson bumper bag. And I really like how it's not really got a logo like obviously you've got the writing there but it's not in your face and i just love like the style of it i want to get the one in white with black trimming i saw it on rosie hunting whitely i'll insert a picture here of her wearing it i'm obsessed with her star i also think these are really fun like this pink and blue one is the first one i actually saw and really like the look of but i just feel like i want a neutral bag so the white and black one and also the price point is really good they're 550 and they're a really nice size bag and i just love the quirkiness of them they're very different so this is the teen size but i was looking for the bigger size look at tree standing there like a parent waiting and what's the price for this one this one's 2200 2200 and what's the price of the big one the size up. They have two seven and two eight and okay. three, three, three five. Yeah, I actually really like this color, but I want to see the bigger one because that's the one I actually had my eyes on. This is the teen. This is a new collection with um, the chain. So the mini JD with the chain, which I haven't seen before. They also have the white loafers. These were really hard to get when I got the black ones. White's cute. Has the price increased? Thanks. So. <laughs> it always increases. Below 1k before. Nice. And they've got these slippers. Look at these. So puffy. I think they're a bit ugly. But they'd be really comfortable. The dad sandal, but puffier version. Is the new Amina Mawadis, which I want so bad. I'm gonna see they're my size. They're beautiful and they come in black.
Guys, this is Sal in the Selfridges. These look really comfy for like traveling. now we just spent the day in not the day we spent like an hour how long did we spend in Selfridges? Two, two hours two hours just browsing um in Selfridges and now we're on our way to Loewe to get some jeans that I bought last month tailored so that they can fit me because they fit me around my hips but not my waist so they offer a tailoring service which is great so I'm finally going to my appointment to get them fit and then I have jeans I'm really loving jeans at the moment because I went from having basically no jeans to now buying so many jeans. But like the weather has definitely made a turn and it's now very sunny, which is lovely to see. And this is the Loewe store on New Bond Street. So these are the jeans that I'm getting tailored. I'm wearing Loewe, obviously I'm a huge Loewe fan. <laughs> so I just need to get them tailored because you can see, there's the gap. So you can see the pins here, where they've pinned it, where they're gonna tailor it because there's just a lot of gap. Just had a quick outfit change because I have a meeting with Longchamp and it's at Isabel Mayfair, which is a little bit fancy. So my previous outfit I had on, I feel like was a bit too casual for that. So daily sleeper dress to the rescue and my dad's sandals. That just made a farting noise. It wasn't me, it was the shoes. My essay at Loewe is the sweetest. She always gives me a gift. She's giving me this new fragrance. I'll show you in the car. Okay, so this is what she's given me. Last time I came here when I bought the jeans, she gave me a different perfume and she's given me this one. And she said, this is for holiday. So let's do a little, it's called Agua. I'm trying to do this one. Maybe you can help me, mate. <laughs> Thank you, True. I love their packaging. Like how stunning is this? So simple. Let's smell it. Looks like it's a different day because I've changed my outfit. Mmm, this is lovely. I like that. I like it. This is definitely a holiday scent. I love that. Citrusy. But like a citrus orange, kind of, but not too. I'd not, you're Sorry. gonna hot box the car. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, she's honestly the sweetest. If you ever need an essay at Loewe, she said I could show her name. I asked before, um, but honestly, she is just incredible. She's the one of the best essays I've ever um, met in my life for any luxury store. So ask for G at New Bond Street if you need anything. She is just amazing, the loveliest girl. I've got my jeans tailored. That was so quick. I just tried on the jeans and the tailor came in and he kind of just pinned, pinned up where they would take the jeans in, which is a great service, I think, especially when I struggle to find jeans because the jeans fit me perfectly on my thighs and everything, not too tight, but it's just my waist area that I always struggle with. So I'm excited to get those back. I think that would be perfect for fashion week to wear. They're very cool. And I feel like I can definitely style them up in lots of different ways. Um, True's just editing some content before I head off to my meeting with Longchamp. And then I don't know what else we're doing for the day. We'll see after the meeting what we feel like doing. has come with the goods guys we are starving we literally it's 6 30 and we had breakfast at what time like morning we had breakfast in the morning and it's 6 30 right now and we're having our second meal of the day this is from one of my favorite places the salad project oh your car needs a wash through yeah. um the salad project they do the best salads i will show you we're gonna we're gonna park up so we can do a little car mukbang and eat some salad for you guys because we're being healthy. Um, this smells amazing and I can't wait to eat it. So this is my salad and it doesn't look like much but it's so good. It's called the cauliflower and I add um, chicken breast to it. But it's basically kale, pickled onions, carrots, feta, cauliflower, roasted cauliflower which is so tasty. This roasted cauliflower is amazing. Uh, it's got like a tahini and lemon dressing. 
and I think there's something else in there that I forgot. And then this is Trues, which we, we actually had this the other day. Exact same thing. So it's um, rockets, chicken breast, add the chicken thighs, sweet potato, goat's cheese, tomato, and then like a dressing. And you forgot them. And, and the walnut. The, the like nicest Caramelized part. walnut. So it's good. So good with the goat's cheese. Mm. Yeah, the portion sizing is really good. It's like the amount of chicken they put in. Like it was just enough to hit your protein intake. True booked a surprise trip for me somewhere. Oh yeah. In a couple of weeks we're going somewhere where I have no idea where we're going. I want oh good yeah, idea. Everyone in the comments is gonna be like, well I bet a proposal's coming. Well, well it's not <laughs> <laughs> that was an attack to someone, I don't know who. <laughs> so oh. true is confirmed. It's not gonna be appraisal. Yeah, I feel like every time I go on holiday not there's every always trip. pressure. Yeah. Every time we go on holiday there's always a pressure to like and it's gonna happen when you guys least expect it yeah. and when and when I least expect it which is what I want I don't want it to be an expected thing mm. um, but yeah Tree's planned a surprise trip not a proposal guys don't worry he's planned a um, surprise trip and I'm excited because this has never happened to me before it's the first time I've taken responsibility for booking everything mm. from the flights to the hotel and obviously the flights are getting cancelled everywhere so I'm, I'm a bit stressed yeah, because you said one of yeah. them already got cancelled. Yeah, one of them got cancelled already, but I moved it ASAP. Mm. Um, yeah. A little bit stressful, but it's going to be a good trip. Are we going to vlog it? Mm hmm Yeah. Mm hmm But I don't want to do any work there. Mm. Have we been there before? I know what you're doing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to answer any questions. So we've been to a lot of places, so I can narrow it down. Because every time I plan a surprise, guys, she always find a way to question and find the answer so that it's, it doesn't end up being a surprise mm. but this time I've kept my mouth shut mm. can I say why well, I guess it is and then this can be our oh I better have salad in my teeth as well <laughs> guys apologies in advance if during this mukbang there's any food in our mouth because <laughs> salad always gets stuck um, anyway can I give my guess I think it's gonna be, then we can see if it's right. Oh, I think right. it's gonna be. <laughs> no. Prepare my poker face. Okay. Where? I think. <laughs> Wait, I <can't. laughs> Why? What's wrong with you? You have a good poker face. Wait. <laughs> Why are you laughing? My, I mouth, think, my mouth is out. I think it's gonna be Italy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I want, oh my god, imagine someone watching is like a body analyst. But you know people can see like um, human behaviour. No. Can you comment like below if you if if you think that I was right because from True's response, is it Italy? Italy, Italy. If I want you guys to comment below where you think True's taken me. Also, I normally cut these milk bangs short, but just for Rosie's husband that we met today, <laughs> we're going to keep it long. This is for you, Rosie, and your husband. They said they enjoy our food element, so look, we're eating a salad. Guys, listen, I'm not that kind of person that always just eats salad, but this salad is so good, like I literally crave it. Mm. And you guys know, like me and Trey are such foodies, like we love food, we're not, we don't just have salads all the time, but this salad is so nice. Yeah, I think the only salad we have is from this place. Cause like, mm. we don't actively make our own salads, cause that's quite long. I feel like making a salad. Because there's so many different components, it's just so long. Yeah, unless, oh, let me have that bite. That looks if you eat salad every day, then yeah, you have the components to make a salad. It's the walnuts, the can like, what is it, maple syrup walnuts? Mm. Let me find one. It's caramelized, so it's so sweet. Wait, can you give me a bite with goat's cheese in it, chicken, no. and a walnut? It's the walnut. I don't think you can see it. But true, can you give me a bite? Look, let's try some cauliflower, it's so good. I think it's probably not good to eat this every day. Why? Because of the dressing they, they put. Hmm. But I mean, it's healthier than the... It's balanced. Yeah, it's balanced. Do they have any other branches? There's one in and there's one in Wales. Yeah. Anyone watching from Wales? No, if not, I don't know if it's in Wales. I think so. Mm-hmm. Three co... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you can see that, but that's a legit place. Screenshot it. No, screenshot it and then you can put it in here. Uh, Just blur it out and then do a screenshot and circle. It's near three chickens. <laughs> if anyone's near there. Did you even have any of this? I had a little bit. 
I don't think I'm going to be able to finish it today. I'm a bit full. Have we got anything else to update? Also, yeah, sorry for the lack of uploads, guys. Summer is just summering and this. It's been hard to um, stay consistent on YouTube because YouTube, out of all three platforms that we do, Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube, um, YouTube requires the most amount of time and effort. We've been really busy with jobs that we will get for brands and I don't think many people know this, but aside from what I do with brands on my Instagram or TikTok and YouTube like ads, we also do content creation. So we create content for brands that we don't post. So it's so I could be saying I'm really busy and you could, you guys could be thinking, but you don't even post that much. How are you busy? But we actually create content for brands that they post on their website, social media channels, blah, 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 which takes up a lot of time. So we're just trying to balance everything and we thought summer would be really quiet a month because normally it is for social media work but it's been so busy um so we just had a lot going on so yeah i'm really sorry guys because i know it's frustrating when you're waiting for an upload and i don't upload and i just feel so guilty i honestly do and usually i put a post up to say sorry for not posting today but i've stopped doing that because i just feel so i feel like i'm constantly apologizing for not posting and i just really feel guilty so sorry from me and true because it's mainly true's fault no <laughs> so, don't come for me in the comments i'm joking okay let's go when should we end the vlog oh yeah let's end the vlog here